Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss how to display columns names in a Power Apps drop down. First of all, open your Power Apps with your respective Microsoft credential. This is my Power Apps homepage, and whenever you want to create a blank canvas, app, just click on the Create button and select a blank app. And here you can choose the blank canvas of then click on the create button and provide the app name. And here you can see the format as by default tablet format then click on the create button. A collection means a group of items or an array. A power apps collection is an array that helps to store the data in a power apps memory. You can see here this is my SharePoint online list as expense tracker. Inside this I have added different columns with various data types. Now I want to add this list as a Power Apps collection. For that go to the Power Apps. And to connect the respective SharePoint online list to the Power Apps for that go to the data section. Here select the add data and select SharePoint. And here you can select the respective SharePoint online site like marketing. Then choose your respective SharePoint online list as expense tracker. Then click on the connect button. To create a Power Apps collection just go to the app object from the left navigation and set its on start property. Here you can see this power app set function can help us to set a global variable to the entire app and where list column is the global variable name and we can use distinct functions to use remove duplicates from in the table and we can use ungroup functions to return say formula for breaking a separate records and we can use match all function to extract all string to the match json function is helps to represent a data structure as a text so that it is suitable for sorting or transforming across a network and this expense tracker is my sharepoint online list and sub matches is the group name and to get the created variable just click on the run on start property and go to the variable section here select the global variable drop down and click on the view table here you can see the variable retrieve the all the power apps columns now i would like to show this power apps columns in a drop down control for that insert a drop down control and rename the drop down control Insert a text label and set its text property. Now set its drop down items property as a variable name.
Once your app is ready, just click on the save button. Then go to the preview button. Here you can see the drop down control will display all column names from a SharePoint list based on the variable value. Next we will see how to display or retrieve the Power Apps collection headers on the drop down control. For that insert another blank screen. And to create a Power Apps collection just go to the app object from the left navigation and set its on start property like. Here you can see collection budget is the Power Apps collection name item category amount budget or collection headers or columns and grocery food thousand within budget are the collection rows and records now click on the run on start property to get the created collection and if you want to find the created collection just go to the variable section here click on the collection drop down and go to the view table See here this is my power apps collection records based on the respective power apps collection headers. Now I want to display these headers on a drop down control. Now I want to display these headers on a drop down control. For that insert a button control. And change the text property. Then set its on select property like. Here you can see this is my Power Apps global variable name as where collection column names and this is my collection name like collection budget. Now to display this collection columns in a drop down control just insert a drop down control. and rename it as then set it item property as variable name Now go to the preview button. You can see here whenever the user click on the button control, the drop down will display all the Power Apps collection headers as shown below. Yes, this is all about how to display Power Apps column names in a drop down control. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.